I'll be showing you how you can add a wish list to your Shopify Dawn theme. I'll be showing you everything step by step here, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. Now, unfortunately, Shopify's Dawn theme doesn't come in a pre built wish list, so we'll have to use a Shopify app. So, the one we'll be using in this video is called Wishlist Rocket and does have a free plan here with an add to wishlist button where you get a hundred wishlist items per month. There's also no coding required, so let's go in and set this up. Now to note, I have no affiliation with this app, but we are using it for this video. So you can find it in the Shopify app store under Wishlet Rocket, and you just wanna add that app to your store. And then once you hit the install button, it's gonna ask you to accept the permissions. Once you accept that, you'll come to the welcome screen. Let's go to get started here so we can set this up. First, we wanna enable the app embed so it's gonna be available on our theme. So let's click the enable app embed button here. And so that should enable it in our theme. If it doesn't, we can go back and add it in. Next, we can customize the look of the add to wishlist button. We can see the preview on the side here. Maybe I wanna change the color to more of a bright green. I can maybe change the text to wishlist this product. I can leave it as icon only or icon and text. You can also set where you want it. So you want it below the button or floating on the left side. And I'll leave this on top of, actually I'll change my mind there here as on top of the product image is only available on the paid plan. So let's leave it below the add to cart button. We'll hit next. And then for the wishlist preview, where the customer can see all the items they've wishlisted. Let's leave these all as default here and we'll leave it floating on the bottom of the page. I'll hit next and this should be complete here and the wishlist should be live on our store. I'll hit next so we can select our plan. I'll hit the free plan here. But next, let's go see this live in action. So I'm gonna open up the view online store button in the left hand side menu. This should be next to online store. In the bottom right, I can now see my wish list. If I scroll into the page here, I can see the wish list this product. If I click on that, I'll get a notification saying I need to log in to add this to my wish list. Note, it will require you to have an account with your store. So this can be related to any customer account a potential customer is creating, and it's gonna be attached to your Shopify store. You could also be doing this to access their order tracking information or the refund information. But once they have an account, if we click on my wish list, I can now see this product was added to the wish list. I can easily add it to the cart as well. So overall, this is how you create a wish list for free for your Shopify store using the Dawn theme specifically. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a pre-built wish list in it as it is a free theme. I just want to mention as well, there are quite a few wish list apps in the Shopify app store, some of which have free plans available. So make sure you check those out as well if you're interested. And it's all going to depend on the pricing and features you're looking for exactly. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations. You can see how much money your store is making and how profitable you are. This allows you to make smarter business decisions. It's going to come with a ton of different details, analytics, and metrics so you can truly understand your business. It's going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, TikTok, and Pinterest, as well as many other cost of goods sold options. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below, both of which get you access to a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself and truly understand your Shopify store. And these steps overall will be very similar as well. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.